What's going on y'all, this is me Jefferson and uh, tonight um, Steph Curry actually debuted the Under Armour Curry 2, his second signature shoe in the uh, game 2 of the Western Conference Finals in which they won, no surprise, by one point. Uh, James Harden messed up, you know, he passed it up, he had an open shot, he passed it up to Ariza, Ariza passed it right back to him, turnover, game's over. Uh, terrible. He should have shot it. But anyway, it was anybody's game. Um, I'm not here to talk about the Western Conference Finals or the NBA. I'm here to talk about Under Armour and Steph Curry and the Steph Curry 2. The second signature shoe for Steph Curry. As you all know, man, I've been hooping in the Curry 1s every time I've been hooping. Um, uh, the Curry 2s right there. Let me zoom in right quick. Boom. It's a nice silhouette, man. It has like the same uh, uh, kind of style as the one. They got some uh, the midsole. It's kind of like uh, like a LeBron 11 kind of, you know. It's segmented. There's a gap between the uh, the, the the heel and the forefoot. So, and the traction is a little bit more aggressive, I think. Um, the laces are kind of like the same. They came in like the speed lacing system, and uh, you got the branding at the same spot. You got the Under Armour right, right there on the side, and then you got these uh, that heel clip um, that comes around to the midsole. Uh, yeah, man. And the price on them is gonna be one thirty. Um, I think I think it's one thirty. Rumored to be one thirty. And honestly, man, they don't look as good as the ones, uh, as appealing as the ones. But they're nice. I think they're gonna grow on me. And they already are growing on me. And it's just gonna the the colorway is gonna make the shoe. They look good. They look good, and uh, I think they're they're gonna come out in fall in fall of this year. Hopefully, they got some. Uh, they debut some new tech. Um, I hope they uh, keep the uh, micro G in there. I hope they give it a little bit more bounce, just like the Clutch Fit had. I never owned the Clutch Fits, but um, I hope they you know give it a little bit more bounce. Um, the charge cushioning, I didn't really I didn't really see it in the Curry ones, but it was comfortable, man. So whatever they did was was good. So. Uh, Overall, I think Under Armour is doing a great job. They're heading in the definitely heading in the, the right direction. They had they picked up Curry like two years ago um, because Steph Curry was with Nike uh, since I think since he was drafted. He had a couple of injuries during that time when he was dra uh, signed with Under Armour, so Nike didn't really want to keep him. Um, he wasn't a superstar as he is now. I think he's a superstar because you know he's just blown up. Um, probably the most popular play player right now other than LeBron James um, <coughs> Kobe Bryant, but um, yeah, so uh, Steph Curry's killing man because now he's the MVP And I think that gives some legitimacy to the brand itself as a whole Even though uh, a lot of people don't view Under Armour as like a legit threat And and right now it's, it's, it's safe to say that they're not but they are growing just like Brand Black and Jamal Crawford is which I still want his uh, Jamal uh, JC twos, but um, yeah. So Under Armour is gonna. I I, I feel that they should have signed Kevin Durant. Um, I feel like well, it wasn't their choice, but Kevin Durant should have dipped on Nike. You know, he had a good legacy and everything. He should have went back to home to Maryland and signed with Under Armour, and uh, because it would have been nice. And look at him now. He's with an injury. You know, so that mm, karma maybe. I don't know. Mm, I'm just saying, you know, so Durant should go to Under Armour. I also think Blake Griffin should go to Under Armour too. Um, you see, you got Jordan Brand, you got Melo, you got Chris Paul, and um, you know, Blake Griffin, nobody, super fly. Lamps. I don't I don't go and tell myself, yo, I'm going to wake up tomorrow, I'm going to buy some Blake Griffins. No, no, like nobody says that. So instead of just being some... You know, status quo person, an athlete for Jordan Brand. He should go to Under Armour, become a, all his own brand, a bigger brand, and uh, I think they would make great, great shoes for him. Um, I think they should have continued Brandon Jennings. He had a good line, but they canceled it because you know, I guess it didn't sell. So now they got Curry. It's through the roof. It's endless. So uh, I'm really, I'm really loving it because it's gonna bring out more uh, competition for Nike, especially at the price point of 120 bucks. While they're Pushing up their prices on their shoes, $180 KD-8s, which the KD-8, I'm, I'll make another video for it. Then you got the Kobe 10s at $180. Then you got LeBron James, $200. Then you got $275 for the playoff uh, um, um, elite versions. It's stupid, man. Like I think all shoes should be $120, $250 uh, for some basketball shoes. Or $160, 
the tops, 160 is tops. That's why I wait for all my shoes to hit outlets and then I stop buying them. But anyway, until next time, I'm done. I'm going to stop this video right here. The Curry 1s, the Curry 2s, let me know what you guys think about Under Armour right now. I, if you guys haven't tried the Under Armour shoe and want to see how they perform, check out my video on the uh, performance review on Kixologist. I'll post the link down below. And let me know what you guys think about the Curry 2s, man, and uh, down below in the section. Thank you guys for watching. Hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. I'll have more videos up for y'all guys i'm sorry i'm sorry if the video is long so um until next time thank you guys for watching deuces buckets all day mickey mouse in the house kobe bryant go lakers number two pick breath yes sir